Hi, I'm Laurie. I'm one of the physiotherapists from Proactive Public Health. And one of the things we realize that our patients are doing is hovering when they come to public toilets. So I thought I'd talk about strategies for public toilets and reasons why this hovering idea is really not a good idea. Um, when you come to a public toilet and you think, oh, I don't know if this one's clean or not, we've all done the paper trick, laying it out on the toilet seat. <clears throat> and this goes for guys who need to sit for bowel movements too, but for women for sure. Um, you can clean it if you've got something in your purse. Sometimes I even carry just a, paper, a plastic bag with a couple in it because it's lighter. In any case, you've laid out the paper and you're about to sit down. I want you to sit all the way down and let the muscles of the pelvic floor and the hips relax. Here's the pelvic floor. I've got a model, this happens to be a female pelvic model, but you can see the muscles in the base and they support the anal sphincter for bowel movements. They support the bladder up front to help us control urine. But they also support the bones and the muscles. And so when you're doing something that requires leg muscle power, like basically a squat, all your pelvic floor muscles are on, they're fully activated. So that means if you're gonna try and get something out, you're gonna really have to push. And that's gonna put more pressure in your abdominal cavity on hemorrhoids and fissures, on prolapse, and encourage your muscles to tighten up. Overactive pelvic muscles can be a source of pain too. And so this whole idea of hovering can really get us in trouble. Sit down, let the pelvic floor muscles relax, let your hips relax and kind of settle in. And when your abdominal wall relaxes, then you know you're ready to go ahead without straining.